how kangaroo got its color? How was the land created? What about the creation of King's Park, the wave rock and the stars? This week, Subiaco Art Center has received a wonderful show about Aboriginal culture. We use a lot of glow in the dark, we use a lot of props, we use a lot of um, effects and, and an amazing set and light. So we, we create a magical atmosphere here at Yuri Yarkin with this, um, with this show. And we use a lot of um, masks and puppetry, which is really nice. The show's called Buja Karajan, which means to understand the land. Um, there are four stories that um, we, we do in the play. The first story is about the first sunrise and about how Kulbari the magpie created the first sunrise. The second story is Waich, he's very jealous of Yonga the kangaroo, of having his white coat, and Kuya becomes the huge hill known as King's Park. Yeah. The third story is about a little crawling blob of sticky jelly, the echidna, and how he got his spikes. And the fourth story is about a spirit woman named Jundal, and uh, that how she takes spirit children to protect them and puts them in her hair and she's protecting them from a big bad giant. Mm. Brilliant. It was so well put together. The concepts and the language used was targeted at the year level that we brought over year ones and there were nice, simple stories that were easy to comprehend. No, oh, it wasn't me! Well, someone knocked out the stick to Joe's cans, do no. yes. yes, I can see some curly, whirly tracks on that ground. What is the inspiration behind the walk? It's been a long process creating this show. I've, I've directed it and I've written it and I've collected um, some stories from a few Noongar elders and, and got their permission to kind of adapt them and, and, and change these Dreamtime stories that we have and make them suit children's theatre. So it was, a, it was a bit of a challenge taking some of these Dreamtime stories that have really been quite, quite gruesome and quite, um, you know, no, really hectic and we had to tone it down to suit kids and, and really ham it up and make it fun and energetic. Which, which my actors have done a really, really good job of, I think. <laughs> yeah. No, it wasn't me. Them kids did it. It's all their fault. Yeah. And this is awesome for us because we get to share and teach people as well too and give that to a bigger audience because part of our culture is to share. The show is a really good opportunity for kids to know more about your culture. So is it important for you? Um, absolutely, absolutely. I'm a Noongar man from Perth, uh, specifically Wajak, which is the area that surrounds the Swan River and the metropolitan area of Perth. And I also have connections and ties through the Wheat Belt, which is Baladon country. I've been luckily um, I'm fortunate enough to be born into a strong cultural family that had a bit of knowledge about, you know, the culture and where we grew up and our dances and our language. So not not a lot of Ab Aboriginal people have that knowledge, you know. So it's 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 up to the ones who have a bit of knowledge to pass it down and continue it going and going. Um, it, it's the same thing with our dances, and you know, I've I've been doing my Noongar dancing since I was this little one's age, so <laughs> growing it up from my uncles, from my father, from my older brothers, all the way up, and, and well, I'm slowly doing the same thing with theatre now and the stories, not just the dancing, which my cousin here, Aaron, um, has always been up there with me, you know, dancing alongside me as a kid, and now as an adult, he's, he's up in the acting game with me, and Ruben as well does a bit of dancing, and I mean, Amy, Amy represents her her culture and her family too, so um, it's very important for all of us, I think, and it's very important for Yuri Yarkin to be able to give us this avenue to drive these stories and, and continue that growth all the way up so the kids can learn these stories and then by the time they're adults, they can, they can share them and pass them down and continue this going. This is Laura Bayumi for Undercurrent. Mm -hmm.